Hi, and welcome to Questacon Science Time. My name is Dion. And I'm BJ. And today we're talking about music. And sound. Come on. Let's go. Wake up, sun and moon. It's science time. It's science time. Wake up, skeleton. It's science time. It's science time. At home, in the bathroom, when we're swimming, there is science. Outside, at the playground, in the sunshine, there is science. Wake up. What do you think we might be talking about in science time today? Does anyone know? What do you think it might be? Music. It's music. Music, music. and sound it's today. Music. music and sound. Now, can anyone tell me, what body part do you use to listen with? What body part do you use? Can everyone show me your ears? Can you show me your ears? Where are your ears? Right there. Now, I've got quite big ears, as you can see. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at listening. So these are our big ears here. And we use these to listen to sounds and also music. Now, I'm going to start by looking at a very special instrument. So can anyone tell me, what instrument is this? A drum. A drum? A drum, exactly, it's a drum. Now, how do I play a drum? Do I shake it? No. no. What do I do? You've got, you've got to hit it, don't you? You've got to bang it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I've got a special banger here, and I'm going to bang our drum. And you have to listen very, very carefully, using your ears, see if you can you know, hear the drum. You know like dumb drums, some drums be very loud. Some are very yes. loud, aren't they? This one, it might not be loud, though. We'll have a listen. Ready? Listening to the drum? Can you hear the drum? Is it a very loud drum? Do you think it's a very loud drum? Yes. So you can hear it pretty well. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to lift it up now. So all of this space here is outside and we're going to have a listen. See if it's louder or quieter. Ready? Is that louder? Louder! It's louder, isn't it? It's a lot louder, that one. <laughs> now, what is sound made of? Does anyone know? It's a pretty hard question. I know. You know? From noise. instruments. From instruments. So From you can, instru you can make noise. it made of noise. Yeah, yeah. But sound is actually made of air that's shaking really, really fast. Can everyone shake for me? Can everyone shake? Shake. shake. Really uh, can you shake? Really shake, 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 shake. <laughs> this is shaking. And when, it, when air shakes really, really fast, it's called vibration. Can everyone say vibration for me? Vibration. 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 Yeah. So vibration is where air is shaking really, 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 really fast. Now, when I hit this drum, this bit here of the drum starts to vibrate really, really quickly. It shakes really, really quickly, and it starts to shake all the air inside the drum. Then all of that air shakes all the way inside my ear, and, and that's know, why we can hear it. If you bring it out in the, out in the, uh, in the outside, if, Let's see if it makes a loud noise all the time. If I bang it on the outside, it's a lot louder, isn't it? Definitely. So you can hear it's very, very loud, and all that air is vibrating all the way into our ears. It's very, very loud. So, so that air vibrates, and it makes the other air shake, and the other air shake, and the other air shake all let's the see, way to our ears. Let's see how loud we'll do well, it. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to have a look and see. So if everyone has a look really, really closely at the air behind the drum, can anyone see the air shaking? No. no. Can you see it shaking? You can't, oh, it's you so can't shaking. See it. oh, well, you can see this might be shaking, but the air behind it, you can't see it shaking. But it's so moving. To sh when you it, it is it's, moving. It's moving, but we can't see it because air is invisible. We can't really see what it's doing. So, to show that it is shaking, is I'm going to use some of this rice here. Now, what we've done, you can do this at home if you'd like. We've put some plastic over the top of a bowl and we put some rice on top. Now, is the rice moving? No, it's not, isn't it? It's staying very, very still. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play our drum next to it and we'll see if the shaking air makes our rice shake. So watching very, very closely, see if it shakes at all. Ready? Shaking! What's happening to the rice? It's shaking. It's shaking. Yeah. So you can see because our rice, it's being shaken by all that shaky oh, air, you can see the rice coming. <laughs> it's spilled everywhere, hasn't it? <laughs> so you can see, even though we can't see the air shaking, it is shaking, and it can shake our rice as well and make a big mess, which is quite and cool. if you can go really, really fast Ooh. and watch what happens, I like Ready? this. Ready? Ready? And it's, so that's really, really loud. So that's really, really loud and really, really fast. But watch what I do. If I do a really, really quiet one, watch what happens. What's happening to the rice now? It's moving 
a tiny bit. It's only moving a tiny bit, isn't it? So what happens is when we make a loud noise, the air moves really, really big. It's got big shakes in it. But when we do a small noise, it's only got small shakes in that one. There we are. You know. Now, I've got another exciting thing to show you. Thank you very much, BJ. There we are. We've got another thing to show you. This one right here. Now, this is called a music box. And this makes... You've got one at home, have you? Has anyone else? Hands up who's seen one of these before. Have you seen one before? Now, what we're going to do is we have to be really, really quiet. We've got to listen really carefully for the music. Ready? So listening really, really carefully. It's very quiet, Dio. Hands up who can hear the music. Me. Yeah, you can, can hear it. A little bit. Is the music quiet or loud? Quiet. It's very quiet, isn't it? Now, that's because only little bits are vibrating. On our music thing here, on our music box, only tiny little bits of the metal are shaking and vibrating the air or shaking the air. So it only gets a very, very small amount of shaking and a very quiet noise. What I'm going to do though, is I'm going to put it on top of this drum now. So now, not only is this small metal bits going to be shaking, all of the drums going to be shaking as well. So do you think it's going to be a louder sound or a quieter sound? A louder sound. Let's have a look. Ready? We'll, we'll, we'll have a little experiment. So listening carefully. Is it louder or quieter? Louder. It's louder, isn't it? And that's because there's more things vibrating or shaking. So the whole drum is shaking this time, which means it's making no. bigger shakes and we can hear it a lot better. When you do it, when you do it on the bigger drums, it really big. the bigger drum. The bigger the drum, the louder it probably is. If we put it on the ground, we'll have a listen. Ready? Listening carefully when we put it on the ground. Because now the ground is shaking and vibrating. So we're making big shakes using bigger things. So our music box is very small by itself, so it only makes a little bit of sound. But our drum and our floor are a lot bigger. They make a bigger sound. Now, we're going to try and make some big sounds ourselves. We're going to use these special instruments. Does anyone know what these instruments are? Yeah. Bells. bells, aren't they? They're bells. So I want everyone to come and grab a bell. Can everyone come and grab a bell for me? There we go, one each. One bell each. Go to work. There we are. Good work. Has everyone got a bell? One for you as well. There we are. Now, if She's you've got, one. got some Fantastic. bells at home, you can do this. Or you might like to do some clapping. So while we're playing our bells, you, you can, can clap, clap or play your bells as well. So I want everyone to hold their bells really, really still. Can everyone hold their bells really still? What happens if you don't shake the bells? Do they? They won't move and they won't make any sound, will they? So what I want everyone to do to start off with, oh, can everyone shake their bells really, really tiny? Just really tiny really shakes. Shake. Really little shakes. Really tiny shakes. Is that making a quiet or a loud sound, do you think? Quiet. It's quiet. Let's see if we make a Now, really let's see if we can make a louder noise. How, how would we do that? How do you make a louder noise? Loud. By shaking a big. Bell. Can everyone shake really, really, really big? Good work. So what we're going to do now is we're going to play a bit of a game. So I want everyone to stand up for me. Can everyone stand up? Everyone standing up. Now what I want everyone to do, everyone get as small as you can. Can everyone get really, really small and wrap yourselves in a ball? Really, really small. And we're going to make tiny little shakes. Tiny little shakes. When we're little, we're going to do little shakes. So when we're down and small, we're going to make little shakes or little claps. But when we get higher, we're going to make bigger shakes. Everyone standing up and make really, really big shakes. Shake, 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 shake. Loud noises. But now I want everyone to get really small again. Really small. Really little shakes. And tiny little shakes. Little shake. Tiny little oh, shakes. Nice and quiet. Oh, tiny, tiny. Down shake, little shakes. Back up. And now I want big shakes. Big, 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 big shakes. Big shakes, 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 shakes. <laughs> well done. And sitting on your bottoms again. Oh, well done. Wonderful. So I want everyone to put their instruments back into the container. You Good are work. wonderful musicians. Well done, Making everyone. Really Back in there. And that one in there. And shuffling backwards, everyone, back to where you were sitting on your favourite colours. Shuffling backwards, back shuffling back. Thank you very much, there we are. Shuffling backwards for me. There we are. So you can see, thank you very much. When we did our big shakes, we made a big noise with all the air shaking. And when we did our little shakes, only a little bit of air was shaking, and that's why they were a bit quieter, those sounds there. And do you know there's a musical instrument that everybody has? And that is our voice. Mm -hmm. And... Our voices can also be quiet and loud. You know, I they? can talk super quiet. Can, you, can we all say, 
I love science time. So how about we try saying I love science time really, really quietly. So can everyone whisper, ready? When I say ready, set, go, whisper I love science time. Ready? ready, set, go. I love science time. That was very quiet. <laughs> now, what do you think we might should, what, what do you think we should do next? I think we should try and do it as loud as we can. Try it at home as well. When I say ready, set, go, we're going to shout I love science time as loud as we can. Are we ready? Ready, set, go! I love science time! <laughs> you must all love science time a lot. I'm very impressed. Very well loud. done. So we've got lots of things to look at at science time today. So ready, set, go. Explore the room and have fun. Go and have fun. playing, I want to show you a really special instrument we have here at Questacon. Come with me. Hi boys and girls, now we're at one of my favourite things at Questacon, our big giant lithophone, which is basically a stone xylophone. You might have played a xylophone before. Now a xylophone has different size bars and each different size makes a different sound or what we call pitch. Listen to this. I'm going to play the small bar and the big bar. Do you see that? That when you hit the bar, it vibrates. And it's those vibrations that cause the sound. And the small bar has a high sound. High sound. And the big bar has a low sound. I'll play from the little one to the big one and you can hear how the sound changes. Listen. <laughs> I can even play a song on my lithophone. I've been practicing. Okay, listen carefully. See if you can guess what this song is. You ready? <laughs> Did you guess what song it was? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I'm going to play it one more time and you can sing. Are you ready? We'll sing together. Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> I love playing music. Next time you come to Questacon, make sure you come and play the lithophone. Let's go back and see what's happening at science time. So we had a lot of different things to look at and talk about in science time today, but before we finish up, we're going to have a chat about sounds. Now, sounds, we can have really, really loud sounds and really, really quiet sounds as well. What we're going to talk about now, though, is some different sounds. So, first of all, does anyone know what instrument this is? What do you think? A whistle. It's a whistle. So, I'm going to play the whistle, first of all, and listen carefully to this noise. Now, it was loud, but do you think that was a high sound or a low sound? A high, high sound, it was a high sound. So what I'm going to do now, listen to it and we'll see how it changes. Did you notice that change? Did it change? What was I doing? What did Dion do to make it change? I pulled it down. What happened is that the, the instrument got a little bit bigger. So that second sound, was the second sound higher or lower do you think? Low! It was lower. Yeah. Well done. So what happens is if we've got a really, really small instrument where only the, the air can only vibrate and shake in a very small space you get a high sound like this one but if you've got a bigger instrument that's got more space so I'm making more space now for the air to shake inside you have a low sound there we are 
So generally, big things make low sounds and small things make high sounds. Now this is, you can see this on this instrument here. What is this instrument called? A xylophone. A xylophone. You might have one of these at home, maybe, that you can have a look at. Now, a xylophone, this is the small bit of a xylophone. Listen carefully. Now, was that a high or low note, do you think? Yeah. It's pretty high. How about this one? Do you think this is high or low? Yeah. Quite low, that one. So it's high and low. There we are. Sitting on your bottom for me? Sitting on your bottom? Now, another instrument we're going to have a look at. These ones here. What type of instrument is this? Triangle. Triangle. So if BJ wants to hold on to that one there, there we are. We've got our small, our small triangle. So do you think our small triangle will make a high or a low sound? Have a guess at home. High or a low sound? Let's have a look. And then look at that big one. Which one's the high sound? Hey, come and sit down, sweetheart. Do you want to sit down? Sitting over there. There we are. So which one's the high sound? That one, isn't it? The small one is the high sound. And the big one is the low sound. <laughs> there we are. And one more thing to show you high and low sounds. We've got our music bangers. The low one. Which one do you think will be the low sound? The big one or the little one? What do you think? Big one. Exactly. Big one. Well Let's done. Have a listen. <laughs> there we are. So we've had a look at low and high sounds. We've also looked at loud and quiet sounds as well. So we've learned a lot of things in science time today. Now before we all go, we've got some things for you guys to take home and for you at home you can also get these on the website. The first thing here is our parent information sheet. They'll give you an idea of some activities you can do at home, some websites to visit, some activities to do. They're lots of fun, so those are for the parents. But for the kids, we've got some colouring in. Can anyone tell me, what is this boy playing? What instrument is he playing? A guitar. A guitar. And what other instruments are beside him? What are those two? Drums as well. So you can get this off the website, or you can take it from here. We'll give you something to colour in, lots of different colours. So before we go though, I want everyone to look at the boys and girls at home. Can everyone look at the boys and girls? We're going to give them a big wave. Can everyone wave? And say, see you next science time. See you next science time. Bye. Bye. So who would like a colouring in? Questacon Science Time is held at Questacon in Canberra, Tuesday to Friday during school terms. Bookings are essential. For further information, go to our website at questacon.edu.au. See you next Science Time.